When I think of this 14 chapter book, I pronounce it, Oh, see her, because this is the parable of the prodigal wife. We might say that Hosea was one of Israel's earliest evangelists, the first prophet of grace. It's fitting his name means salvation, and his message is the long-suffering love of God. Not surprisingly, he prophesied longer than any other prophet for over 50 years. Hosea was a contemporary of Amos in Israel and Micah and Isaiah in Judah. He tells us that he served during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah in Judah and Jeroboam II in Israel. Hosea was called to feel the grief of the unrequited love of Jehovah. With no other prophet do we have a more complete picture of his home life. His wife Gomer, whose name ironically means complete, had prostituted her love, whether before or after her marriage were not clear. Hosea was to seek her return, pay for her restoration, and romance her that she might truly love him. It soon becomes clear that Hosea's difficult marriage is a picture of Jehovah's relationship to his wayward people Israel. And the Lord finds in Hosea a man who can, in some measure at least, sympathize with the God of heaven on the sorrow of unreturned love. We Gentiles get into the picture as Peter links Hosea's children with the church age, 1 Peter 2.10. Hosea is also quoted in Matthew, Luke, Romans, 1 Corinthians, and twice in Revelation. Certainly, we ought to consider the measure of our loyalty to the Savior as we study this book. I think of James' stinging rebuke. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Surely the one who loved us to death deserves our love in return. There are three divisions in the book. In section one, chapters one to three, the prophet is portrayed as a sign. Here we're introduced to the prodigal wife and her children. In section two, chapters four to 13, the prophet is called to be a spokesman for God to the prodigal people. Chapters 12 and 13 especially give us an encapsulation of God's controversy with Israel. In chapter 14, we have the epilogue where through the prophet, God gives his final plea. You can't help but come away from this book overwhelmed with the relentless love and overflowing grace of God as you hear him say, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. And that's a scripture snapshot of the prophecy of Hosea.